grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. In today's episode, we got another video in this uh, series of videos I've been doing, Unboosted Bottleneck Solos. Today we've actually got Paradox. You can see same stats as always. Uh, lost two tanks this time. And well, let's look at the base. Alright, so this is the base. Normally these three mortars are shock launchers. This is actually the easier version of this layout. Um, occasionally these three sniper towers here will actually be rockets. Um, that's a rare thing though. That's like the more extreme version of the of this base. This actually was a pretty sloppy attack. I must, I, if I don't, if I must admit. With tank medic, you always need those three boats of medics, um, because even three rockets firing at you will wear down your tanks. Like it doesn't take much. I think they can stand up to like two rockets, May just barely. Here's the first point of this attack where it was sloppy. I shouldn't have worried about that that sniper. I should have just flared them straight up to the corner up here, let them take out these two these two snipers, and then brought them straight up to the rockets, not wasting any time. But you can see I've wasted a great stack of time here, just mucking around with cells and like all this nonsense. And now you'll see I'm letting them take out more cells. Um. This was just an all-round, like, poor effort. You, I think, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I actually artillery these two cells. Because it only cost me three, uh, three GBE to drop the, to drop it, drop that artillery shell, and I'll get six GBE back from it. Yeah, I, I did, here we go, you'll see it now. Uh... There we go. I knew I took that out. I remember taking it out. Because I'm not going to use artillery, that's actually a gain of 3 GBE, so that's why I did that. Um, you can see my medics are keeping up with those rockets pretty easily. Not not too much of an issue. Uh, so down goes the rocket. I actually had 5 seconds remaining when this attack finished. And I was scared out of my mind because I thought I was going to fail. I honestly, when I started attacking in the core, I was convinced I'd failed. I did not for the life of me think that I was going to beat it. So, really happy that I did in the end, that's for sure. But, oh, it was a worrying attack because I wasted so much time at the start. It put me in a really tough spot for the rest of the attack. Um, I think hookah would actually be a better idea for this this base on a normal day. It's also worth noting that the shock launches that normally sit there, um, if you use hookah and you lose your heavies, don't think your zookas are going to be out of range. Like regardless of where you place them, they are never out of range. Like I have done this base so many times. And my Zookas have been killed every single time by shock launches. I'm not sure if that's because a couple of the Zookas group up in front of the others and that's what gets them killed. I'm not sure, but it's a bad idea to try it, that's for sure. Um, so, you can see I'm in range here. Now I'm just going to start blasting away in the core. And I'm actually out of range of all those boom cannons, the cannons on the side there, which... Normally aren't sitting there, I don't think, but um, they were this time around. But I really think that Smoky Hooker is actually a better idea for this. Um, note that this was actually only possible tank medic because the shock launchers weren't there. If those shock launchers were there, there is no way I'd be tempting this unboosted. Um, if there was rockets here, I wouldn't be too worried at all, really. But actually, maybe a little bit, but I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Those shock launches there, if that's there, maybe try Hooker in some way to take it out. I might pay, I may post that on the channel at some stage. I may give it a shot because I honestly, I think Smoky Hooker is like the best, the best uh, plan of attack on this, to be honest. But yeah, that was the easy version of Paradox, unboosted. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you did, 
I'll see you in the next one.